Hello everybody, Killer Wilson here, and today we'll be doing What If Deku Has Spawn's Power, Part 1. So, this What If starts off with Deku being born in a hospital, which, whenever he was born, the doctors would see a fox tattoo or birthmark above the left side of his waist. They will be confused, but they just brush it off and finish delivering the baby completely. Now, Deku is handed over to Inko as they will cuddle with each other. So, let's time skip to when Deku was in preschool. Now, Bakugo and Deku is playing tag. This is when Bakugo awakens his quirk and accidentally blasted Deku in the back. The teachers would have come and took Deku to the recovery room while telling Bakugo to take a day off and go to the quirk doctor to check his quirk. After patching up, Deku was about to leave when a teacher came rushing in, telling him that his mother was caught in a car crash and is in the hospital right now. The teacher would have grabbed Deku's hand and took him to the hospital. But it will be too late as Enko has already passed away. Deku would start to cry and not knowing what to do. A female police would come up to Deku telling him that everything's gonna be okay and that they would bring him to an orphanage. Also saying that he will make lots of friends and s stuff like that, basically trying to cheer him up. So, after this, Daku will be in an orphanage trying to get used to the new environment while making some friends and one day Deku would come across a bully punching one of his friends. Now Deku would have ran towards the bully while telling him to stop punching his friend as he would tackle the bully to the ground with the bully punching Deku in the face and pushing him off, getting back up and kicks Deku in the stomach, grabbing his shirt and lifting him up, and then started to beat Deku. Punch after punch, Deku is starting to lose consciousness. Now, the bully would throw Deku back onto the ground as he walks to Deku's friend, picks him up and says, <laughs> If I remember correctly, you said you wanted to be a hero, right? <laughs> then be a hero and try to save him, nerd. As he continues to beat Deku's friend. Now, Deku would lay there helplessly, trying to move his hands, trying to save his friend. As he's yelling, S -s Stop! Please! Now, Deku would raise his hand. With all his strength, he yelled, I said, Stop! as the bully stopped in his place. The bully would be confused as 
he would think to himself. What? 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 Why can't I move? Now, this is when a worker would finally come and break up the fight, taking all of them to the recovery room, and also telling the owner of the orphanage. The owner, being annoyed, and would just suspend them for like about two days, maybe. And also, Deku would start to use his quirk more, trying to master it. One time, he took a cup of coffee from a worker's hand, from like two feet away. The worker would be confused, asking Deku if he awakened his quirk or not, which Deku would not. Now, Deku would be taken to the quirk doctor, and they would find out that Deku's quirk can take physical objects of others without making any actual or direct contact. They would name it Snatch. Now, after a few years, Deku would have been adopted by a couple. Which, um, let's just say that they adopt kids just to use them for their own gain, not caring about them, and we abuse them if they don't do as they say. Also, those two are a pair of not well-known villains. So, that happened. And, by the way, Deku's mom died when Deku was four. He awakened his quirk when he was around, maybe like, five years old, and he was adopted when he was seven. Now, Deku was brought to the couple's house, and was asked what his quirk was, which Deku would happily tell them. And the next day, the couple would tell Deku to go out and steal some money, which Deku would be confused and, of course, not complying, saying that a hero should never steal from others. Right after he said that, the man from the couple, uh, let's call him Dick, and the other, which is a woman, let's call her Kale. Now, Dick would grab Deku's hand and yank him to the wall, beating him over and over again, until Deku passes out and falls down onto the ground, only to wake up two hours later. After waking up, Dick would burst in through the door, shouting, Hey! Kid, wake up! As Deku would crawl out of bed and to the corner of the room. Now, Dick would walk up to Deku, putting his hand on Deku's shoulder, telling him, As long as you do as I say, kid, that will not happen to you again. You get it? As Deku would nod, he would get up and continue to do as they say for the rest of the day. This is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe. That would be amazing. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!